Hello again, everyone. Cooking Otaku here with another J-Snack review. This time we're going to review Hi-Chews. Another popular brand that is uh, pretty much available most everywhere nowadays because uh, hi Chew does have its own American distribution plant. So <clears throat> you can easily find these pretty much everywhere. It's by the uh, Morinaga plant. Uh, Morinaga, uh, to give you a little history about hi Chews and where they came from, Back in the 1930s, uh, Morinaga was trying to make a chewing gum that was actually, you could eat it. You could actually swallow it, like regular gum where you shouldn't swallow it because it stays in your intestines for umpty ump years. I don't think they've ever really known how many. I've heard it's like seven years, but I don't believe that one bit. I think it'll actually get through there. Uh, anyways, that's what he was trying to go for. And I uh, couldn't get it quite right, so he actually released a thing called Chulets, is what the original name of high chews are. That's where the, the chew part comes in, Chulets. And uh, distributed this for quite a while. Then in uh, World War II, unfortunately, the factory had, uh, I don't know if it's been destroyed or whatever, but he had to rebuild it from scratch after that. And in 1975, he uh, started making Chulets again and actually started calling it Haichu. Uh, as of that time, Haichu has had 113 different flavors so far. 113. So that's, that's a lot. I don't have a list. I don't even want to go looking for a list. Uh, right now I think they have about a little over a dozen different flavors that are normally available with special occasion ones that come out once in a while. Uh, mostly in Japan, not here in the U.S., unfortunately. Uh, unless it's a, a huge seller and it becomes a regular item, then maybe we might get it. But Haichu has um, come in either a, a pack like this, where you can get uh, three different flavors and a nice uh, nice pack. Uh, we got uh, mango, banana, and melon in this one. Uh, and they also come in uh, packs like this, like you would see, um, you know, regular candy on the shelves. This is a tin pack. There's tin pieces of uh, high chews in here. We got peach here, and this is the American version, obviously, because everything's in English. And the Japanese one. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not sure why. They have, I don't even know which, I, I'm guessing this is a band. This is an orange specialty version that I picked up. It's too wacky not to get. And they're wearing oranges, obviously, for the color, but I have no idea who this is. So if you do, fantastic. Uh, try to go find it, but obviously this is the Japanese version. Easy to figure out. So uh, what these are, I had one friend who liked these quite a bit, uh, tell me that it was Starburst on steroids. It was about the easiest way to uh, to, to put it to other people because uh, they, they really are, but not but like Starburst, Starburst is um, juicy once you actually start getting into it. These are not, unfortunately. They are uh, very chewable. Hi, chew. Come on. But they come in these uh, nice little, little things, I mean, wrapper. And these are individually wrapped as well, just like Starburst. Uh, if you can see, there's the flavoring right there in the middle with an outer coating on it. Now, obviously, they stretch just like a uh, Starburst would. Very fragrant, just like any other uh, candies and snacks you would get in Japan because... Uh, a lot of it's about smell. Smell, well, to me, smell is a big thing because it's about it's half your taste. But they're very, very chewy. I know they're called high chews, but they're definitely chewy. You get a little bit of juiciness out of it. The flavor is definitely uh, prominent. I just had mango. Yeah, mango. Um. It tastes like artificial mango. Uh, I know I've had I've had pretty much all of these: banana, melon, peach. Uh, I haven't had the orange yet. I'll try that here in about half a second. But they all have that, that that artificial candy 
fruit flavors. They don't really have, I don't think they have the actual fruit juices in here. I'm pretty sure they don't. Mm, that melon powder, banana powder, mm, mango puree. Well, we got a little bit of natural stuff in it. So you get a little bit of a natural flavor, but it still tastes quite artificial to me compared to, you know, actual fruit, which you should be eating more of. Stacking is good, but only in moderation. So let's see. As you can see, the wrapper, same thing. This is the orange one. Actually, it looks inside out to me. Because most of them have a, have a, a whiter color around it and usually the color of which one it is on is on the inside. I'll try to finish the other one. <laughs> Swallow it down. Okay. Orange. Yeah. yeah. A nice orange flavor. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so anyways, you can pretty much pick these up in any um, big grocery stores or uh, obviously your Asian marts. Uh, ordering online, super simple. They're pretty much everywhere. Uh, they have an American uh, site. I don't remember if you can actually order from there. I'll have to check that out. I'll, uh, I'll definitely have a link in the uh, comments below to where you can actually pick some of these up. But these will cost you about, I don't know, average about a buck a piece. I've seen them for 79 cents all the way up to $1.29 give or take. So anyways, those are high chews. A uh, wonderful snack just to have around. You can carry along with these because heat and cold doesn't really bother these at all. And um, that's about it. So see you again next time. Eat and enjoy. Dosa.